The restaurant was dimly lit. The authentic history behind its Italian decor, established by photos of the owner's ancestors hanging on the walls. Wine racks presented an impressive selection of regional vintages, and shelves behind the bar proudly showcased bottles of Italian liqueurs and spirits. Carrie took a sip of her Cabernet as she eyed Andrew, seated across the circular table, draped in a pristine white tablecloth. The flickering candle cast a soft glow across his handsome face, from his straight nose to his chiseled cheekbones and perfect lips. Yet even the cozy atmosphere couldn't mask or ease the irritation simmering behind his eyes. Carrie's gaze fell to the rust-colored floor tiles. Their entrees were yet to be served, yet Ellen had already drained her second glass of Chianti. Her head swiveled with a jerkiness that reminded Carrie of a starving zombie seeking its next victim. She eyed every passing server, busboy, or bartender, anyone who could take her next drink order. When she spotted their waiter, Tommaso, across the room, she waved him down. He raised his index finger to tell her he'd be with her in a moment, then continued taking the order at another table. Carrie's heart sank as Ellen rolled her eyes. Jack had been all too right about her emaciated figure. The hollows around the sockets were dark and deep, so that her eyes got lost in their shadows. Her sharply angled cheekbones seemed capable of piercing through her skin, her thin lips highlighting her crooked, yellow teeth. What had become of the younger sister she played with as a child? The little girl who loved food, games, and telling jokes. Although she hadn't seen that Ellen in decades, Carrie searched the woman's face for a glimmer of her, a flicker of the person who had been missing for so long. May I get you something, signorina? Tommaso asked, breaking Carrie from her reverie. Si, senor. Molto gra grazie. Ellen slurred. Can I please have a Grey Goose Martini, straight up, no vermouth, please? Of course. I will be right. Oh, and three olives, please. Just three. Carrie turned to Jack, who stared at his aunt as he dipped his fried calamari into the bowl of red sauce in the center of the table. His face wore the same expression when he was trying to figure a chess move or how to stop the release of a catastrophic virus in his Spider-Man video game. Of course, Tommaso repeated. I will be right back. Andrew dabbed his lips with the black cloth napkin he took from his lap, stealing a glance at Carrie before mustering a forced smile. I've never been able to mix, he said. Carrie should have been grateful he was attempting conversation, but the topic of alcohol especially with the shape Ellen was in at the moment, was not a good one to broach. Not surprised, Ellen muttered, scanning the room again while she stuffed a piece of Tuscan bread into her mouth. Ellen, Carrie hissed. She offered Andrew an apologetic look and took a breath. Let's be nice, please. 